Pisces, what's going on with you? I hope you guys are doing lovely. I got you guys something. All right. I'm feeling romantic. So I got you guys a box of chocolates that I'm going to eat. All right. Anyways, this is going to be your weekly reading from the 9th to the 15th. Let's jump straight into it. What are the overall energies? Now, Piscereans, get three more shuffles. Are going to be dealing with during this time from the 9th through the 15th. Let's get one last shuffle. What are the overall energies? And tune in. Let's, let's get into it. The Hierophant at the bottom of the deck. Let's see. <clears throat> Knight of Wands. Knight of Coins. And the Magician. Well, ladies and gents, there's definitely movement going on here. Thank God you're not experiencing a stagnant love life like others. The Magician entails some sort of action, some sort of goal being pursued. All right, someone here is trying to make something happen here. I'm not sure what it is, Pisces, but let's see. Well, let's just let's just skip to the ending real quick. Are you guys like me and get a little frustrated and just jump jump straight to the ending? King of Swords, interesting. Well, there's definitely some sort of boundaries, some sort of clarity, some sort of communication that that I see being established. This is wild. King of Swords and the King of Coins. Okay, there's growth. This is interesting. The the Emperor at the bottom of the deck, as you know, as you guys know, is typically the energy of somebody taking charge. Somebody here, exactly that, taking charge, and that's exactly what I'm seeing here, Pisces. It's as if there's growth from this Knight energy to this King energy. Let me dig deeper. <clears throat> hmm. Okay, the Temperance, the High Priestess, two major arcanas. I'm telling you, we're getting some weird synchronicities. Two knights, two kings, two major arcanas. What's going on here, Pisces? So I see you and your person trying to work something out, but there's things that need to be discussed. It's High Priestess, there's hidden factors. There's some sort of, <clears throat> there's this energy that's been neglected. It's been neglected, and look what we have here at the bottom of the deck. The Seven of Swords. Wow. All right. Tell me more. What is this energy here? The judgment. Yeah, some sort of truth needs to be established, guys. You know what I'm getting the sense of? It's as if you guys have... This is what I see happening. There's been some sort of heartbreak, ladies and gents. And look, there is no... It's like from this point, it can only get better. All right? It can only get better from this point, Pisces. And... It's like what I'm seeing is, is essentially growth and sue between you and somebody. I feel like there's going to be a serious conversation had that entails moving a relationship. Wow, look at this. There ain't no fucking coincidence, Pisces. All right, moving the relationship towards a higher level of commitment, flat out. I mean, the four of wands is marriage. It's the energy of marriage. <clears throat> Damn, we are off to... It's been a goddamn... In quite a... Uh, what do you say? I don't even know the word that I'm looking for. Expansive reading, and we're only about three minutes in. Hmm. Three coins. What is your energy, Pisces? What is the energy towards? What is your energy towards the person that you're dealing with? Three of coins. So you. Are inclined to sing eye to eye with this individual. Pisces, ooh, ten of swords flew out. <clears throat> well, clearly you guys had something very, very difficult in sue between each other. Could have even been an ending, a breakup that happened here between you guys. <clears throat> Five of swords, absolute defeat, ladies and gents. Let me show you what I'm looking at. This is what I see. This is the type of energy that I see you willing to work on, Pisces. All right? Hmm. Okay, buddy. So Pisces absolutely wants to reconcile whatever conflict, whatever difficulty ensued between them. Yep. Star card. I mean, it's pretty clear, Pisces, that you are most certainly hmm, wanting to heal this situation. But how is Pisces feeling? What is Pisces' current energy? How are they feeling because of the situation? How are, are they in an energy of inspiration? Are they in an energy of 
depression, overwhelming energy is what I'm getting here. Mm, yeah. Could be experiencing a sense of abandonment, Pisces. Could be in this energy of feeling left out in the cold, or as if you are just retreated and you're feeling the coldness of the separation between you and this individual, you are most certainly in a depressive state. I mean, I feel like you're going through a hard time to say the least, Pisces. All right, you're looking at this with an element of dismay. <clears throat> you are definitely not liking what's going on here. What is Pisces's current actions? Well, it doesn't look like you're taking much action, but let's just look for it. Look at it for the sake of it, shall we, buddy? Let's look at, now I'm going for a white one with gold. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. Let's look at the actions. Let's look at Pisces' current actions. Well, the Six of Cups. It's all about reminiscing. A lot of nostalgia. I mean, it's pretty clear that this person's on your mind, Pisces. All right, we got the Star card as well. This is all reminiscent energy, ladies and gents. Imaginative energy. Okay, buddy. Let's see. Ooh, the moon card. You, ha you. I mean, you're definitely not taking action, Pisces. I feel that whatever sort of action that you are imposing upon the situation is one that is only compelling you further. It's like you're only adding more separation to this situation. And, and you may say, yeah, you know, I'm fucking depressed and I'm collecting myself and I'm sad and I don't even know what to do about this situation and so on and so forth. So completely valid. All right. I'm not talking shit. I'm just reading. Hmm. Mm. Let's look into your person. What's going on, Pisces? Whoa, buddy. The Empress flew out. You dealing with an Empress, ladies and gents? I wonder if you should have been out of shape. <clears throat> I know you guys are going to argue. I already know some Pisces are going to be like, no, you got it wrong. I'm the Empress. They're the goddamn depressed individual. Okay. Let's see. So tell me about this individual's energy towards Pisces, whomever it is that Pisces is dealing with. Let's just get an overall energy. Queen of Cups. So you are dealing with an Empress, aren't you? Somebody here wants to give you love. Somebody here's got a real soft heart for you. They're wanting to give you. Well, that makes sense. We got two more. Remember, <clears throat> a lot of, a lot of uh, paralleled energy. Remember in the original or the first cards, two knights, two, two kings, and then two major arcanas. So you guys, you guys both want to work this out. You guys both want to work this out, don't you, buddy? Don't show body. Yep, they're coming forward. Eight of Wands. They want to address the heartbreak. They want progress. They want forward movement, Pisces. This individual wants forward movement. <clears throat> Let me drop this shit just a tad. All right, there we go. Maybe you can see the cards. <clears throat> Put this email on. No no, not disturbed. Let's see. Three of Wands. So, Pisces. All right. I know you've been waiting for this individual, Pisces. I know that you've been in an element of stagnancy. I know that you've been in this energy of just waiting for this person here. And I'm seeing that that wait is going to pay off. I do see that this individual is going to be reaching out to you. All right. Just for the sake of it. Let's see. I typically do this in the extended, all right? I look into their actions in the extended, which I am. I'm going to fully deconstruct their actions towards you, all right? I'll also be looking at their mind and how they envision the future with you, their feelings, and the near future of this relationship in the extended. But I'm just going to give you this just for the sake of it because I'm curious here. It's like I see the movement. Why not dive into it? What actions will this individual be taking towards Pisces this week from the 9th through the 15th. Talk to me about their actions. Mmm, Pisces. Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. I don't know why I'm getting the sense that. <sighs> I'm getting a lot of action here. I do see them. So on an energetic level here, nine of, look at it, a lot of, on an energetic level, there is a lot of action-oriented cards. Ace of Wands, Ace of Swords, Knight of Swords. All right, but look, you got to consider that this is a weekly reading as well. This is a very concentrated reading. It's going to be different for all of you guys, 
But look, let me just tell you what I do see. I'm not necessarily seeing action take place this week. I am seeing action take place. Maybe not this week. But what I do see is that there's an undeniable connection here. Okay? You cannot negate this connection. Both of you guys feel deeply about one another. And this individual especially wants to give you... You, Pisces, let me tell you the energy that I saw in you. I see some atrocious energy. I saw some depressive energy. I see you in the dumps, ladies and gents. In fact, I'm going to get some advice for you because of that. I see you down and out. This individual, I don't see them there. I see this individual wanting to give you love. I see this individual wanting to nurture the situation. And you may say, why aren't they doing it so? Why aren't they? I don't know. You tell me. Why aren't they doing it? <clears throat> Let's see. Let's see, buddy. What is Pisces' advice? What is Any words of wisdom for Pisces? Any words of wisdom for Pisces when it comes to this situation? Any words of wisdom for Pisces? Three of coins. Pisces, why am I getting the sense that it's so long that you're open to working things out? This shit will turn around. Why am I getting the sense that it is you that's being the obstacle to the situation? Now, look, I could be completely wrong and you're absolutely right. All right, I'm reading this wrong, this and that. But anyways, let me tell you what I'm saying here. I feel that if you do open up to working with this individual, you'll definitely close this chapter out and move towards union with this person. But I'm sure you guys are down and out and don't want anything to deal with this. And I'm sure you don't want to fucking take action towards this person. You, who knows what it is that you want? Well, I do see that, it, that what you want is actually to work on the situation. Then why isn't it happening? Why isn't it happening? Let me tell you, this individual is going to be coming to you. At some point. I don't think it's going to happen this week. We're going to look deeper into that in the extended. But I really feel that your energy, your being, your approach to the situation plays a massive factor in regards to how this situation is going and how it will go now. So in other words, you can have a tremendous influence on this today or this week that I'm reading into. All right. Anyways. Maybe you guys aren't in a position to come forward and, you know, express yourselves and open up this door to reconciling. Maybe you still need a little more time and that's absolutely valid. So take what resonates, just hear it out and you don't have to act on anything. All right. I'm going to take this to the extended, ladies and gents. If you're interested, the link to that will be in the description. Otherwise, Pisces, it's a pleasure connecting with you guys as always. And I understand that this is all but a phase. All right. The rhythm goes up and down, and right now you just may be down, and you're about to go up soon enough. So, chill, all right? It's not as bad as you, as you may be feeling it is. Someone here wants you. Somebody here wants to pour love into you. Someone that you want to connect with. So, I'll see you guys next time.